Hi, welcome to Nick and Nancy's Craft Channel. Today we're going to be making fabric pumpkins. I have a couple here to show you. And we're going to be making those out of material. Um, you can This one I think is out of a bandana and this one's out of an old t-shirt. Uh, today I have an old leftover t-shirt that we're going to upcycle and cut it up. So what you want to do is you need a scissors, thread, if you're really good at cutting a circle, you can cut your own circle. Otherwise, if you want to trace it, you can use any kind of circle or plate or whatever you've got. So I think I want to make it pretty big. So I'm going to use this as a base and then I'm going to cut around maybe a couple inches around it. So that looks good. So I'm only going to do the top layer. I'm not going to do the bottom layer yet. So you just cut around the plate. It doesn't have to be perfect because no pumpkins are perfect. We're growing some pumpkins at my house, and uh, yeah, and, they're, and they're on they're on concrete. Um, somehow they did really good over there on concrete, so you know that was that was a good spot to put it. But anyways, those are gonna have a flat side. It's like sitting on its side, so it's gonna have a flat side. So she's right, no pumpkins perfect. So gonna, you know. All right, so there's her circle now. What you could start doing, you can start sewing it. Get a needle and thread. Get a, get, I, I double the thread. And you're just going to do a basting stitch. Alright, going around around the whole shirt. Alright, so I'm going to flip that. So we've got the, the other side of the shirt. And then you just go in. I'm going to go in maybe about a uh, half an inch, whatever. And go all the way around. I'm not going to draw it up yet because I'm going to be stuffing the pumpkin. I just want this job done now. Now to stuff the pumpkin you can use anything. You can use old rags, you can use plastic bags, you can use um, the fiber fill, you can use, I use scraps of yarn, scraps of material anything that you, that you want to stuff your thing with. If you want it to be like a doorstop or something, you could stuff it with beans. And that way it would it would be, you know, you could use it as a doorstop or not going to go anywhere. If you if you make a smaller pumpkin and want to use it for a cat toy, put a little bit of catnip in it. Now I'm going to stuff it with leftover yarn that I saved from different projects.
Takes a lot of scraps. That's a neat looking one. Okay, let's draw it up and see how much more we got to put in there. Oh, that, that looks pretty good, just like that. All right, then you keep drawing up and drawing up and drawing up until you've got maybe a spot for your finger to go into because that's where your stick is going to go into or you can use you can use a stick, you can use a um, couple pieces of cinnamon, anything that you want to to stick in, into your pumpkin. Um, you can hot glue it. You can um, use Elmer's glue. You can use any kind of glue to stick the uh, the cinnamon or the the piece of tree like I'm going to use in there. Just sew it the best you can. I stitch it all up. And then when you've got it tight enough that you can get that stick in there, just go in one more time and then loop it through. And then you can cut your thread and then you can, it's like a self knot. Loop it through the other side, give it a cut. Shove that down and my basket of sticks, depending on what size stick I want to use. Just shove the stick in there. You, this long one, if I don't want to use the long one, I can use a shorter one. And then you can take some raffia like I have around here and cut some raffia and put raffia around it. If you want to make a leaf out of um, out of felt, you can put a felt leaf on it, or you can you can just get a leaf from a fake plant and stick it on there too. All right, so now I'm gonna try. Um, I already. Um, so I'm gonna go. I, I went in like this and then I'm going to go in and then out And then in and out and, and keep repeating the process until you can get it um, scrunched up tight when, when, when it's almost all the way around. And then in and out and, and keep repeating the process until you can get it um, scrunched up tight when, when, when it's almost all the way around. Okay. 
the other one up. Pull on the string. Okay. Now it's all in there, so now I'm gonna Let's see if thread see thread see it up. Need any more. Mm, yeah. I don't think I need any more. Maybe a little bit. We'll get. This much more. Okay. Now, now let's go back and, and pull it a little tighter. Okay. And then stick, then go back with the needle and go back inside there. All the way through without sticking me. Okay. I'm gonna hit your thumb. It's okay. There you go. That time you got me. Well, oh, okay, a little high. No, okay, just. Okay, once you draw it all up, then we're just gonna go back and, and just try to catch it. You pick out a stick. It's gonna fit in that hole. Where are they? Right there. Oh. Probably one of those little ones. This one would fit. I think so. I think that's going to be too big. Yeah, you need a small. Well, okay. Okay. And then you just cut off that. Cut off that. Because this is going to get glued in. Mm-hmm. So cut so it off? Just cut the needle off. Oh, a little shorter. Yep. Okay. And there, there's... Next pumpkin. There's my pumpkin, so you can either hot glue gun or super glue this in yep. when you're done, but if you don't want to, you can just leave it because it probably won't fall out anyways. All right. Well, thank you for watching. Have a good day. Okay, signing off. I'm, I'm Nick signing off for Nick and Nancy's Crafts. Bye.